Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. Stock Mentor Neil here uh, signing in. So basically guys, uh, ngayon ay meron tayong live audio broadcast. At uh, itong audio broadcast na to ay actually in parallel with my uh, session, my mentoring session. Uh, meron akong student na nasa Manila ngayon. In fact, nasa Luzon siya. But uh, since uh, I... Uh, may bagyo doon at walang kuryente so napagdesisyonan namin na ire-record ko na lang ito i am i am facing my laptop here so uh, i will be showing charts but in in this uh, broadcast you won't be able to to see my chart instead you will be able to hear the things that i am uh, uh, discussing but i hope you can you can get uh, something out of it But unfortunately, since this is just a free broadcast, uh, I won't be able to to show you charts. So, but if you want to avail the the one on one mentorship, uh, yun mapapakita ko yung mga charts nyo. At uh, if you want to avail the recorded session wherein you can see the video of the charts and my discussion, then let me know. Because I am also uh, avail uh, when providing that for purchasing yung recorded session ko. So again, guys, uh, I'm recording only this one. It's an audio broadcast uh, in my podcast uh, Usapang Trader uh, para mabigyan ng uh, somehow uh, may matutunan din kayo while I'm having an online uh, session with my with my student. But again, this is just also a recorded one kasi yung student ko ay nasa uh, Luzon at walang kuryente daw doon. So we decided that uh, I will just record. So the topic for uh, today is all about uh, uh, how to detect the uh, stocks which are in uh, stealth phase. That ito, ito yung mga stocks na uh, matagal muna nag-consolidate and ready to break out from that uh, big consolidation. So okay, uh, right now I am going to start my recording here at uh, my laptop which I will be providing to my students uh, once I finish this one. So, few minutes break. Uh, siniset up ko lang yung laptop ko dito. So, yung mga nakikinig sa atin dyan, so, kumusta kayong lahat? I hope every, everybody's fine. I hope yung mga kababayan natin nasa Luzon ay okay lahat. After uh, manalasa si Bag yung umpong, ay naway okay lahat. At uh, kung may mga damages man, I hope that uh, ma-repair yan agad-agad. Alright, so sit back and enjoy. Listen to my uh, free audio broadcast about my mentorship. This is the first time actually na mapapakinggan niyo ako na nag-online, nag-live na mentorship via my podcast. Although hindi niyo makikita dito yung mga chart. So, alright. So, let's get ready. So, give me a few minutes guys and I will be uh, setting up my, my laptop here. Okay, so ngayon ay tinitest ko lang yung ano ko, yung screen ko kung nare-record ba lahat. Alright, so yun, uh, naka-full screen and I start my recording for uh, for Anthony who lives in Luzon. Uh, he's uh, my student and this is already our third uh, session uh, which is uh, tackling about uh, stealth phase uh, how to pred- uh, how to find stocks which are still in stealth phase how to plan the entry point how to detect that it's already ready for a breakout and what will be our target price and what are the indicators that I'm going to use in order to uh, to uh, time this uh, to, to, to plan the, the chart Uh, the plan, the entry, the cut loss, and uh, what are the target price. So, our previous session, we have already uh, discussed that uh, we all need this uh, moving average. We also have uh, tackled about support and resistance, uh, trend lines, uh, how to to judge whether the, the trend is already uptrending, and if it is downtrending, then uh, we don't Uh, make any entry so we always uh, trade stocks which are in the uptrending phase and uh, we always like to put our buy zones very close to the support because from that point uh, 
our risk is uh, minimal or much lesser. It's very easy to get out from the trade once the trend is going against us. So that's the beauty of, uh, of uh, buying at the support. Right, so again, let me pull out my chart about uh, some examples of stocks na nag-stealth phase. So ano nga ba yung, define muna natin kung ano nga ba itong uh, stocks na nasa stealth phase. So stealth, it's like uh, parang uh, lurking in the in the silence. So parang uh, umbaga vulkan na hindi mo pa malaman na sasabog na ba siya pero may mga signs na, na pwede siyang sumabog. Diba? So ganun din sa stock market. So may mga signs tayo, mga symptoms na nakikita natin sa chart na that it's already uh, giving us a sign that it's ready for a big breakout. Alright, so this kind of technique is very very good technique especially for those who want to to uh, enter the market at a very early phase and uh, ride on the trend when it is uh, uptrending. Okay, so let me pull out my chart for, uh, I mean the PSE tool chart. Ito yung madalas kong ginagamit sa aking uh, planning kasi maraming mayroon ng feature dito at mabilis yung reaction niya, hindi siya naglo-loading. Uh, I, I already have uh, my template here, position trading. So, uh, may kita mo na meron tayo, meron ako ang nakahanda ng mga mga indicators, moving average, uh, AMA 10. Meron din ako ng uh, EMA 50. Meron ako ng EMA 100. And bonus na yung EMA 200 kasi uh, yung EMA 200 uh, we also use that for for uh, finding out whether we are going for a long market or short market. Uh, in the Philippine market we don't have a short market yet but uh, it's soon to to be implemented or to be uh, yeah to be to be in the Philippine market trade in the Philippine stock market but uh, yeah so right now we are in the long market still right so isa sa mga example sa mga company na na nagkaroon muna ng step phase bago siya sumabog at uh, yun ay ang for example uh, Vulcan <laughs> so sumabog na to sumasabog na to uh, from the name alone Vulcan so Vulcan industrial mining Ayun. So, one of the signs uh, is that uh, we have a big downtrend from here. So, eliminate ko muna yung ibang mga indicators dito na hindi natin kailangan. So, let's focus on uh, MA100. So, as, as we have defined that uh, a downtrend stock is wherein the price candles are just lying below the uh, MA100. So, ayan, for, for example, si Vulcan, ayan, oh, talagang downtrend to. Then, suddenly, the price started to cross that MA100. And uh, now, if we plot back the EMA10 and EMA50, ito, i-colorize ko lang ng black. Nakikita natin dito na nag-umpisa na mag-cross over yung uh, 10 at 50. That's the first and to confirm that, kailangan yung uh, price should break out also from the MA100. So, saan yun? Ito yun. Once they break out na dyan, check also the volume kasi it's not enough guys that uh, we have only uh, price breaking out. Kailangan, mo, kailangan din natin ng volume na nag-spike. So, makikita mo naman dito na matataas yung bars ng, ano, ng, uh, ng volumes. Tsaka confirmed by OBB. Kita mo naman na flat na flat talaga yung OBB line. It indicates na walang nangyayari sa volume. Pero suddenly, on February 7, from February 6, February 7, February 8, it started to spike up. So mayroon nang, nagkakaroon na ng accumulation. So how much is that volume? So let's say for example on... On uh, February 6, it's all about, uh, it was only, uh, how much? 8.7 million. Kinabukasan, naging 
44 million again. So from 8.7 naging 44 million. That is a big change of volume. So it's like something is cooking over there. If something is cooking, there is a smoke which is coming out. <laughs> so joke lang. So ang ibig kong sabihin dito ay ay yung mga indicators nag-indicate diyan. Kahit yung price nagbe-break out so, firstly, nag-breakout siya sa MA100. That's, that's a very good sign. MACD started to build up uh, positive, uh, uh, the, on the positive side, yung histogram niya are already lining up or, or uh, uh, yeah, created on the positive side. Above zero na yung MACD. So, that's good. Uh, and then, <clears throat> very important yung volume. So, yung volume from 8.7 million shares traded in the previous day kinabukasan naging 44 million so the psychology here guys is that bakit kaya maglalagay ng napakataas na volume itong mga uh, nagtrade kay Vulcan so kung ikaw ay uh, isa kang institution would you put a big amount of shares in a company without having any fundamental reason would you put a lot of, or, or 44 million or, or 40 million or 20 million shares in a stock kapag uh, wala kang basihan dyan, di ba? So, kapag gano'n ang volume na spike, it, it's, it means that there is really an institutional uh, buying happening. And once there is an institutional buying, expect that the price will be rallying. Kasi pag maliit yung volume na nag-spike, tayo-tayo lang yan eh. It's either uh, yung uh, uh, kabadi mo na nag-trade ng ilang shares or yung taga ibang group na, uh, uh, na, na pinag-uusapan yung ganitong stock. So, it's only about retail trading. So, pag retail trading lang, ano lang yun? Uh, mahina yan. So, we need institutional buying guys in order for price to rally. So, pag sinabi kong mga institutional buying, it's either mga foreign buyers, foreign uh, uh, investors, or yung mga local investors natin na mga banks na nagmamanage ng funds. So, malalaki yung mga trades nila. Ayun. So, back to this. Makikita mo na uh, price has just uh, crossed the... Uh, E, uh, MA100. This is a very, very good sign. And uh, with respect to Vulcan, uh, it has been uh, in a downtrend for a very long time since uh, 2014. Medyo nag uh, ano siya, bounce on the year 2016, but nagpatuloy pa rin yung downtrend. However, uh, dumating again yung time na uh, itong EMA, EMA 100 ay, ay nakaroon nakaro na ng crossover. So, that is a very good sign. So, actually, eh, I don't know if you are familiar with uh, the CFRIX strategy. Yung tinatawag niyang alignment of the stars or outs. A-O-T-S. At yung Z-S is yung so strike So, yung strike na yun is, is uh, dinescribe ni CFRIX as parang kidlat na Tumama. So, yung kidlat na yun ay itong uh, MA100 na nag-dive below the uh, faster moving average na EMA10 at EMA50. Actually, it's a bit uh, a modified uh, version of uh, outs plus CS strategy. Kasi yung ginagamit ko dito is not EMA20 and not... Uh, uh, instead of EMA20, I use EMA10. And the reason is that uh, I use EMA 10 for my entry. I use also EMA uh, 10 for my exit. So why don't I use EMA 20? I can use that as well. However, pag EMA 20 yung ginamit mo, medyo there are times na malayo na yung cut loss mo. Or malayo na yung price uh, before ka nag-exit. And I don't like that. I always want to conserve my profits, to lock in profits as high as I can. Kasi, I believe that uh, after EMA 10 is broken down, next thing that can happen is it's either there will be no bounce uh, happening at EMA 20 
or there will be no bounce on EMA 50. At uh, kung mangyari man na mag-bounce sa EMA 20, then it's very easy for me to, to find another setup and re-enter. So that is my principle and I, I want always to be consistent in that. So EMA 10, EMA 50, EMA 100, uh, MA pala. So magtatanong ka na bakit MA yung ginagamit mo kay uh, 100 at uh, uh, 10 on an EMA uh, for uh, 10 and 50. The reason for this is that uh, kasi much faster itong mga moving average. I want uh, something which is reacting fast. That's why I use uh, EMAs. But for MA, the reason for this is that 100 is a slower one. So I just use a slower, uh, which is a slowly reacting moving average, which is uh, MA100. Actually, I can also use EMA100, but since maraming gumagamit ng MA100, then I use MA100. Alright, so, but it's up to you guys. It, there, are, there is only a few difference, but uh, I am already uh, used to, to this uh, setup. And again, I want to be consistent. And that is the, 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 um, the secret in trading is really to be consistent. Because even if you have the most powerful strategy, but if you are not consistent in using that, then we will still have a problem on that. Alright? So consistency, very, very important uh, part of trading. So again, so let's say uh, we have here a, a candle breaking out from, from uh, MA100. That is the very first uh, daily candle that na break out. So let me point that one. So that one. Of course, uh, we don't want a false breakout, right? So, in order to avoid a false breakout, pag nagkaroon ng breakout candle, check the volume. Kasi, kailangan mataas yung volume eh. Kasi, pag mababa yung volume, marahil ay, ano lang yan, mga retail traders lang na pumasok. So, it's not trustable. We need institutional buyers coming in, guys. Again, institutional uh, buyers. So, ayan. So, of course, the first day, we don't want to enter because we might uh, be caught into a false breakout. Then, our next uh, step is uh, for, for this is for a conservative buying that we have uh, labeled what is the high of this uh, cand breakout candle. So, and the high of that, if the next uh, uh, candle will be. Uh, will be uh, moving higher than that previous candle high, then I will enter a buy. Another option is to put your uh, your uh, entry at the top of the body of the previous candle. Now, kapag uh, yung current candle, yung price niya, market price niya, will go above that, then you will enter a buy. And of course, you need to see also that we have a <clears throat> volume, uh, which is a uh, high volume. All right. So that's it. <clears throat> another another way is uh, although this is not real, this is a conservative strategy as well. You try to uh, plot the resistance. Uh, of course, uh, syempre yung mga nauna nating lesson is all about uh, support and resistance, iba. So, actually, that should be the first that we should be doing. So, yan. Meron na tayo dito. Meron tayong support. Meron resistance dito. But currently, itong uh, support will now become a resistance. Kasi yung uh, price candles are uh, located below that. So, the price now uh, needs to break out from this in order for the in order for a price to rally. Alright? So, ayan. Uh -huh. but the that that is also another uh, entry point. However, mataas na yung rally ng price before ka nag enter. So I'm sure natin yan from here to here. You will be uh, missing uh, nine nine point five percent. So but the the advantage of that is. You are sure enough that uh, this will be a breakout. But uh, if you are here 
entering at this uh, no uh, level so let, let me reset the uh, yung chart na to ayun so so meron tayo dito ng uh, meron tayo dito ng uh, breakout so yung breakout natin dito is the breakout of MA100 so we have here the breakout candle then meron confirmation candle and once the price moves high then the the opening price or the top part of the body of the previous candle here we enter a buy or either to the highs of the previous candle that is another option as well so kapag dyan yung ano natin yung uh, buying uh, entry point we can easily set a cut loss point which is below the, ha the low of the previous candle so how much risk are we taking if that will be our setup we are taking uh, how much 9.5% uh, so mataas yan guys so 9.5% is uh, mataas for this setup so what should I do uh, in that case I will try to check at 4 hour chart muna kung makahanap ba ako dito ng uh, magandang uh, stop loss point kasi pag one day medyo malaki yung chart na tinitingnan natin kaya yung candle mahaba I mean uh, stop loss malayo so ayan meron tayo dito ng uh, previous candle ito and uh, ayan so if we we enter here and then uh, our cut loss is somewhere here below then magkan lang yan that is 6.8% uh, na lang so at least uh, na-reduce natin yung risk so it's very very important that in, in every trade uh, na malaman natin kung saan ba tayo mag-exit at how much is that uh, risk that we are taking so let's say for example you have this position of uh, 50,000 for that uh, stock so, ano ba yung 6.8% ng 50,000? So, ikakalculate natin. 0. Uh, 0.068. That is 6%. So, it means that you are willing to lose 3,400 pesos for this trade once uh, our stop loss will be hit. So, tatanungin mo ngayon sarili mo. Will you be able to sleep well at night? Kapag uh, nauwi sa katos yung ano mo. Yung trade na to. Yung setup na to. But as you can see, mataas yung potential na reward dito naman. Kasi yung resistance napakalayo pa eh. Although there is another minor resistance here. But still, the risk reward natin is malaki pa rin. Diba? So, pwede mong gamitin itong tool for the risk reward. So, alimbawa, this is your opening. Ayan, this is your exit. This is your target. That is 32% profitability. Ano ba yung risk reward natin? 3.22. That is a very beautiful risk reward. Risk reward... Um, uh, best, uh, I mean, the minimum that we can take is uh, around 1.5 percent. I mean, 1.5 uh, risk reward. It means that uh, we can uh, we can uh, have uh, two thirds profit and risking one third uh, profit. I mean, risking uh, one third. So if we divide our uh, um, if we check this uh, opening and the uh, target price and if we uh, kunin natin itong ano, part na to ng uh, opening uh, towards the uh, stop loss ilang parte itong uh, opening to stop loss compared to the opening to the target so this is the meaning of this risk reward so from uh, from this uh, tool it's showing that 3.22 so the reward is 3.22 times than the risk that we are taking so that is very very attractive so ayan so if 6.8% uh, is still very high 
for you then try to convert that to one hour and let's see ano ba yung ah okay so nawala yung ano ko Kailang, kailangan may label tayo kung saan alright so ano bang yung ano ba yung date na to that is February 7 so ayan so February 7 pwede mong gamitin to na go to date February 7 and seven zero seven February seven okay to date Alright, so ito yung February 7. Okay, so nandito yung entry natin. So makikita mo, uh, pwede nating itaas ito. At dyan. At yung entry price natin is, okay, delete ko muna ito. So, okay, so yan. So breakout. Ito yung breakout. So, ito, pwede nating itaas ito. Punta dito. Or dito. So, magkano na lang yan? So, this is our entry. Okay. Mali-mali. Hindi. Mali. Tama. Okay. So, if this is the breakout, we enter here. Where is your stop loss? Somewhere here. So, the previous... Uh, below the low of the previous candle so magkano yan okay so may mali dito so, hindi ko malaman kung saan which is the right candle so back to this uh, kulayan ko muna ito ng blue para hindi tayo makonfuse so saan na yung uh, breakout ng uh, MA100 Okay, ito yun. So, that candle of February 7 February 7 And then, uh, go to, to one hour muna And then, uh, up. Go to date, February 7 Ayan, this is February 7 this is the breakout, this part. So that will be your entry point. Come on, because I'm going to freeze yung ano ko. Okay, so, okay. I'm going to freeze yung laptop ko niya makaya yung ano <laughs> PSC tool right okay so let's post this for a while right so pinost ko muna for a while kasi nag freeze yung ano ko at we have some technical issues here with my laptop so ngayon guys uh, na mga nakikinig uh, binabati ko yung mga nakikinig dyan Mga uh, kababayan natin na uh, nanonood pa, nanonood, da, nakikinig pa, galing pa sa iba't ibang dako ng digdig. Uh, at kumusta kayong lahat? Uh, let me greet some people here. Mark, Kevin, Nico, Jack, Mori, uh, Fernan, Vix, uh, Emiliano, Michael, Joy, Atoy, Gio, Noel, Bibi. Rosario, uh, Joson, Brad Joson, hello, Bernard, uh, Oliver, Norman, Freddy, Andrew, and of course, si mga hindi pa na hindi nakikinig dito ay mayroon kayong chance na ma ma pakinggan itong uh, 
uh, live mentorship natin via usapang trailer. At yung mga interesado naman ng mga kabayan natin na gusto din ng online session or gusto mag-avail ng recorded session po dito with the with the screen ha, with the video e, ito kasi ay audio broadcast lang so walang video so kung mga yung mga interesado sa atin diyan ay mangyari ay mag-message lang kayo sa akin i also have some weekly stock update this is uh, my stock pick recommendation every week nagpo-post ako in my fri- private FB group ng mga uh, mga potential stock na maging bagger or maging uh, profitable in the next week or in the next uh, months. So, depende sa investment rise nyo, I am uh, uh, suggesting uh, momentum trades, uh, swing trade, uh, stocks, uh, mid-term and long-term investing, and pot- position trading. So, ayun guys. So, pag interesado kayo dyan sa weekly stock updates ko, just uh, mangyari ay mag-message lang kayo sa akin. Alright, so I hope that my laptop is already fine. So let me uh, continue. Alright, so ayon. Uh, dito na tayo sa breakout. Then hanapin natin yung previous uh, low ng previous candle. So since mayroon tayo dito ng support, pabako lang itong support. And then, just below that support will be our cut loss point. And magkano yan? So, that is uh, around 4.82% na lang yung ano natin. Well, let's say na lang 5%. So, na-minimize na natin. Kasi so, bakit, yung, bakit yung cut loss dyan? Kasi dito yung, uh, ano, yung tinatawag na build up or consolidation. One or consolidation. Ito yung support niya. And of course, uh, if it is the support... Tiwala tayo na kapag uh, buyers are really uh, more dominant here or more powerful than the sellers, price should go up. Or else, uh, if they are still fighting here, the price will just consolidate. And kapag yung mga sellers naman yung nag-dominate, basically the price will go down, right? At kung, kung sellers ay nag-dominate na dyan, meaning to say that as early as possible, dapat exit na tayo. Why? Because it can happen that the price will be uh, falling down to the next support, which is far, far away from that uh, buying buying zone. So, kung i ano natin, I measure that is around thirteen percent. Malayo na. So, ayo natin na maipit tayo ng thirteen percent at mauwi sa long term yung ano natin trades. So, we don't like that one. So, in trading, always control your risk. Uh, especially for momentum trades, uh, 1% or 1.5% should be the average na risk natin. Pag ganito naman na uh, stealth phase, you can, uh, you can allocate max uh, 5%. So, 5% maximum na uh, as much as possible, i-reduce natin. Uh, 4% or 3%. Okay na yun. But maximum na risk, 5%. Okay? Ayun. So, alam na natin paano mag-enter. Alam na natin din paano mag-exit. Paano i-minimize yung risk by adjusting the uh, time frame. From one day, nag-go down tayo to 4 hours. Kung hindi pa rin okay, down tayo sa 1 hour. Pag di pa rin okay, it means that we need to wait until such time that the risk is lower. Meaning to say, pag nataas na yung price, limbawa, tumaas, limbawa, itong candle, third candle, tumaas, eh, mataas na yung risk. Ano yung risk na tinetake natin kung dito na yung candle, or yung price? That is 13%. So, kapag mataas na at nasa 1 hour na tayo, it's either you will not trade, or you need to wait for a time na mag back yung price to your buy zone or kill zone. So, once mag-pull back, huwag kang bibili agad. Kasi baka magpatuloy yung pababa, di ba? So, madadali tayo nyan. So, ang gagawin natin, wait for the next candle to form. And if, if it is opening higher than the previous close, that is a sign that it's bouncing. Then, if it breaks out from the support, 
that is another sign that you can take a buy or dito pa lang nag-open siya higher than the previous close that is also a good sign na there is a chance that uh, the price wants to go higher alright so from this chart it's very visible that it really went higher so kapag naman ay uh, nag nag-open nga siya ng much higher but the candle closes below our cut loss or the below the low of the previous candle then mangyari ay exit ka na no ano wala nang mga ego ego dyan execute lang kumbaga yung target natin ay nasa ano na center nasa target zone na tirahin mo na so wag mo na uh, antayin na uh, maipit ka pa at maging long term investor ka so we are a trader here we are trying we are trading we are not uh, going for investing alright so and be be very precise on that goal alright so ayan stealth phase so back to the one day naka enter ka na di ba so pag naka enter ka na you have now uh, entered in the market so we are here at this phase naka enter ka na happy ka na the next day kasi ano nag open higher much higher so yung confidence natin nagiging mas mataas na so actually, uh, titingnan natin to the left side, always uh, look for some possible resistances. Like this, this is the pivot point or the high point of the previous month. Draw a resistance. So the price needs to break out from that in order for us to have some conviction that the price wants to go higher. So ayan, breakout happened. And the good thing is that the volume is really maintaining uh, really uh, above average then breakout again nilagyan pa ng matataas pang volume so this alone is telling us that there is really uh, uh, we have a big confidence here that the price is going to rally and it is indeed doing it and the OBB see keeps on rising dito naman so Naka experience ka ng ganito na mayroong uh, retracement. So you don't need to bother uh, be be uh, be, uh, be on panic kapag uh, nag-retrace siya kasi it it can happen that uh, there are uh, just uh, some uh, institution that wants to lock in some profits. Ayan. So okay, take mo na. Let me zoom in from that. So, dito yung enterprise natin. So, tingnan mo. So, it's it's uh, just normal that uh, we have a resistance. It will try to consolidate first. And and uh, if the buyers, so, uh, ito na lang yung isipin mo. Na kapag yung buyers are still willing to to buy at the higher prices and there are more buyers coming in, makikita mo yun sa volume. Volume is increasing. And in here, uh, mayroon nga nag-take profit dito pero yung volume niya is napakaliit so ba hindi pa yan sapat para matalo na yung mga buyers dito so it's normal in the market that uh, after some point in time nag-rally yung stock ay nag-take profit yung mga traders that is fine pero let you check natin yung volume kapag yung volume ng profit taken na yan is maliit it's not enough so Sooner or later, the price will still uh, move up. Kasi dito, magpapile up na naman yung mga uh, mga other investors na medyo nahuli sa ano sa, sa show. So, hindi sila nakabili dito. Napansin na lang nila dito na, na mayroon na magandang setup. It's already close to the resistance. And once uh, volume, uh, enough volume, is coming in and that volume is much higher than the previous profit taking it's one sign na pwede pang mag tumaas yung yung price at OBB tingnan mo tumataas pa rin alright so yan nangyari na yung breakout so by the way sa consolidation na to kapag uh, malapit lang yung uh, candle sa EMA 10 it's still another opportunity to scale in so ano ba yung scale in na to so, scale and basically is that naglaan ka ng uh, fund in your initial position. Hindi mo siya nag, hindi ka nag all in. Ha? So, by the way, pag nag trade ka, never go all in. Why? Kasi pag mali ka, malaki yung losses na maano natin. So, you are making the risk much higher. So, if, if for example, we have 100,000 uh, pesos. 
you don't and you only have that fund you don't uh, trade all the 100,000 immediately instead you can uh, divide it into to three parts or four parts it depends on you so your fir first initial position will be for example uh, 30,000 30,000 pesos nilagay mo dyan kasi pag mali ka yung 30,000 mo halimbawa nag cut loss ka ng, uh, ng let's say na lang uh, 2% so, konti lang yung 2% ng 30,000, di ba? Compared sa 2% ng 100,000. So, ano ba yung uh, 2% ng 30,000? Ayan. So, calculate natin. 30,000 times 0 0.02. 600 uh, pesos. That is uh, yung loss mo kapag uh, mali tayo. Pero yung 2% ng 100,000, nag-all in ka. That is 20,000. Ano? 2,000 pala. So, 600. Tama ba? Ah, uh, tama, tama. Kasi 100,000. So, 2,000. Compared to 600, so, napakataas ng 200, ng, ng 2,000, di ba? Na loss. Compared to 600 pesos lang. Ang maganda sa scale in, kasi you are really in control. Kapag mali yung, ano, yung uh, entry uh, position natin, mag exit ka lang ng lesser loss. Pero kung, kung uh, tama tayo, uh, ahanap naman tayo ng another uh, setup na kung saan magko-consolidate yung price. Uh, usually, consolidation will be happening uh, close to the resistance bago siya mag-break out. So, once yung candle malapit lang sa EMA10, Kasi remember that EMA10 is our uh, indicator for exiting and entering, iba. So, kapag hindi siya nag-cross below that, then it's a very good sign na, na the, the, the price still want to hold on and still want to rally upwards. So, enter ka dyan. Uh, uh, if your first position is 30,000, you have options to add another 30,000 here or much lower than your first position. So, you can go for a linear scaling. Linear, ibig sabihin 30,000 here. Second position, 30,000. Another position is 30,000. Or, you can do in this way that first position is 30,000, second position is 20,000, third position is 10,000. So, 30, 20, 10. That is uh, 60 lang. So the rest will be traded in other, some other stocks. Alright, so ganun ha. Uh, that is scale in. So pag makahanap ko ulit ng uh, another position na maganda yung setup, buy. As long as it is above the EMA 10 and having consolidation, it, it is still a buy. Pag uh, bumaba siya ng EMA 10, then, by the way, pag you have here the, the second position, your cut loss will not be the same cut loss like in your fir first position. I have already done this before and it is really very damaging to your... To your uh, it's, it's very, very risky kasi kung yung cut loss mo sa second position is the same with your first position, eh malaki yung risk na tinitake mo dito. How much risk? If this is your entry price here, and your cut loss is uh, the cut loss of your uh, first position. Malayo. So it's about uh, 20 to 30 percent risk. So yung, yung ano mo, cut loss, it's like uh, you are setting up for, for really a fresh position here that you are still taking care uh, that your, your loss here will not uh, exceed maximum 5 percent. It won't be above 5 percent. So, ayan. So, that is about the scale in. So, take lang. Alright, so may nagtatanong dito sa ating live audio broadcast na bakit walang video. So, for the information of uh, others na nakikinig ngayon, it's an audio broadcast here on my uh, phone. I am doing here a uh, live mentorship naman sa my laptop ko so I, I did not uh, share the the video but for those who would like to avail this video magyari po ay uh, mag message lang kayo sa akin 
and um, you may purchase this uh, uh, recorded video so all right so video plus audio together uh, you may purchase it from me but this uh, audio broadcast is for free so there is no no fee at all all right so ayan uh, let's continue this one so na discuss na natin yung skill in at uh, paano, paano ka naman mag uh, take profit nito halimbawa in this situation alright so tingnan muna natin this is a uh, previous resistance and ngayon parang uh, kailangan uh, I mean this is uh, the resistance was uh, the year 2016 pa and this one is uh, 2018 na and of course uh, we have that risk that the price won't be able to break out uh, from this previous high which happened last 2016 so in that case uh, our actions here might uh, could be to take profit kapag uh, the price sale will be rejected and won't break out in this uh, chart you can see that the breakout happened with a very very high volume so kapag yung volume ay tumataas pa rin uh, let's check that from the OBB chart okay so as you can see volume is still rising so kapag volume is rising it means that buyers are still coming in they, they still uh, want to buy at higher price and if the buyers are still willing to buy and more and more buyers volume of uh, buyers coming in it is possible that it will break out from this uh, uh, resistance now kapag yung volume dito ay medyo nag-aalangan na at medyo nagdi-decelerate na then that is one sign na kailangan natin mag-take profit now if you don't if you are not sure na na baba ba talaga so one way to to tackle this is that you sell half of your position. So iba kalimbawa nag scale in ka uh, three positions. You sell half of the total position that you have. This is the the reason for this is for you to lock in your profits. So ngayon half of your uh, uh, position na lang yung natitira. So in that case uh, lesser risk ka na at uh, you are sure enough na money has all been um, uh, position has been converted to money already but uh, once uh, mag break out dito that is really a good uh, that's really a bonus for you kasi their profitability will still increase at wag manghihinayang na nag exit ka sa half yung importante dito is that we have executed our plan so kapag manghihinayang ka na ay sayang tumataas pa pala bakit binenta ko that is the reason why that we also don't sell right away everything especially kapag uh, nag-scale in ka or matataas yung uh, position na hinawakan mo so we don't sell right away the all all out naman tawag doon hindi tayo nag all in hindi naman tayo nag all out di ba so you can do all out if we have really that uh, strong conviction na medyo weak na yung ano natin dito trend so we can uh, all out kapag sure tayo na hindi natataas so nakikita naman natin sa sa volume diba pag decelerating na yung volume meaning to say buyers does not want to buy at higher prices especially ito yung another sign makakapag draw ka dito ng parang support volume looking at the OBB may support volume dito now this volume the lows of uh, lower part or the support volume here was that volume traded during the candles so ito yun ito yung lows niya or uh, somewhere here so meaning to say you can also draw a support there so let's colorize that with blue now uh, kapag bumagsak dito yung price so limbawa nandito no okay let me uh, okay excuse me okay so Okay, so, ayan. So, now, the price is trying to break out here. Now, kapag yung price bumagsak dito at bumagsak pa dito below this support, 
and then the OBB is also breaking down from this support volume then it's a strong conviction that the price is now uh, fading seller uh, buyers are already uh, running out of stem and price uh, wants to go down so in that case we exit if you are not sure again you sell half now kapag bumagsak pa sell everything sell the another half now kapag mag rally what about mag -rally? then hold on hold on pa rin. until such time we have already a sell signal there and that's the time that you will exit so tingnan mo this 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 is really validating what i told you now this is the support volume this is the now this is kasi nag break out na dito di ba so of course we don't like that the price will go below this kasi sayang eh nag o may, nag in, nag uh, nag increase na yung price above this therefore we will move our stop uh, our trailing stop from here to here so that's that's fine and especially meron tayo ditong EMA10 kapag bumagsak sa EMA10 yung price ko that is another exit point so again my entry point is EMA10 my exit is EMA10 so very very simple lang guys ah entry EMA10 exit EMA10 so ngayon tingnan mo ano nangyari so ka dahil uh, nandito yung ano natin yung breakout part you can even put it higher here so pero binibigyan ko lang ng buffer so let's say dito siya yung support price so ibig sabihin na uh, or this is my trail stop as well na kapag bumagsak dito at nag close yung candle below that then I will exit so, and, and I'm very very uh, 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 I mean I'm, I'm very very strong in that decision that at that if the price will the price candle will close i will exit wala nang ano uh, wala nang uh, dalawang isip hindi na magdadalawang isip so ayun so it, since na na move ko naman yung trail stop sa taas i-move ko naman yung, ano yung volume lows volume diyan ito yung low di ba so ngayon kapag yung volume na break niya itong support volume that is and it's matching also with the price breaking down the EMA 10 and the support price that is the time that I will exit so dito pa lang di ba dito pa lang naka exit ka na and you have avoided a long downtrend you have saved a lot of uh, your profits here somewhere here very early so ito yung strategy ko na hindi lang ako nagre-rely sa indicator but also relying on what is happening in the price what is happening in the volume so this is my price and volume strategy a very simple strategy but and and it's very very easy to implement very very easy to execute wala masyadong indicators mabilis yung execution so in this way pag mabilis tayo we are also exiting earlier than the others kasi kapag eh, hindi mo hindi mo inalagaan yung profit mo somebody will take that profit from you that is the principle in uh, protecting profits lacking in profits all right so yeah that is about the uh, stealth phase so of course uh, of course uh, it can happen that uh, this uh, stock will still uh, uh, give us another setup but we just need to be patient na later on just put that to your watch list baka later on na naman magkaroon na naman ng panibagong setup and that is true in this point so yung first setup natin nakita natin yung stealth phase around February 2018 diba? yung stealth phase uh, yung sign niya again is uh, when the when the price cross over from MA100 and MA100 is going diving below EMA10 and EMA50. This is the strategy na ginagamit si Frix. Although, yung kainaibahin dito is uh, he is using EMA20, I'm using EMA10. And naipaliwanag ko na kung bakit EMA10. Alright, so dito naman, uh, another setup dumating. So, first setup, dumating February 
next setup na naman dumating sa June. So ayan, nag na naman. How much rally? 74%. Wow. So ayan. Then, ito naman. Uh, paano naman ito? So, okay. Let's uh, assume na nag-exit ka na somewhere here. Kasi, ay, okay. Not there, but uh, somewhere here. Kasi, na-breakdown na yung uh, EMA 10. So, by the way, if, uh, kung, kung titingnan mo naman yung pag-daily chart yung tinitingnan natin, from the top of that, to the exit point 22% na yung binaba bago tayo nag-exit so sometimes I do use uh, a lower time frame kung gusto ko talaga na maging conservative na I, I can always uh, take my profit earlier so and the one, one way to, to do that is to go to 4 hour chart or 1 hour chart one hour chart kung medyo very volatile talaga yung ano, market. Uh, gusto ko talaga mag-exit. Or kung napaka volatile masyado yung market, then reduce it to from one hour nagiging 30 minutes na lang. So, depende talaga sa volatility. Kasi, minsan, uh, mag-exit mag tayo ng napakaaga, uh, not knowing that it will still go higher uh, after a few days. So, okay. So, that is just one tip. So dito naman, let's say nag-exit ka somewhere here, but there is another setup. Ito yung setup na uh, wedge pattern. A wedge pattern does not tell us all, uh, does not always tell us that the price will go up. So wala makakapagsabi kung ano going up ba yung after. So yung nangyayari dito is that uh, buyers and sellers are becoming congested in one area. So meaning uh, hindi natin malaman kung sino yung nagdo-dominate dito. It's either buyers or the sellers. And how to trade a wedge pattern. So, ito yung pattern na yan. Wedge symmetrical uh, triangle in, in another terms. Uh, one way to pinpoint the direction is to wait for a breakout. So, ayan. The breakout happens here. So, of course, uh, so if the breakout happens on the upper part of the wedge, or upper part of the symmetric triangle, it means the price wants to move higher. But, again, uh, in every breakout, always check the volume. Kasi, we want to avoid false breakout. So, we need to check volume. And, and as you can see, the price really is very, I mean, the volume is very, very high. Let's confirm it with OBB. As you can see, volume really spiked up. From here and it's it's much higher than this resistance volume here right so ayan so dito pa lang maka enter ka na so now kung gusto mong abangan talaga yung very fine na breakout convert your chart to let's say one hour at uh, draw again this uh, pattern Yun. so ito yung upper part of the wedge ayan so this is the breakout candle but it was rejected but the next day it opened higher than the previous close and then it exceeded the highs of this previous one hour candle which can serve us as our entry point where will be our cut loss point for normally for a wedge pattern the cut loss point is below the lower part of the wedge so here somewhere here Pero kung, kung titingnan mo, kung susundin mo yung idea na to, you are actually risking how much? If this is our enterprise here, and this is your cut loss below the lows of this uh, uh, candle na nasa uh, bottom side na wedge, so itong, ito yung diagonal support, tapos ito yung candle. If your stop loss is just below that candle, we will measure how much risk are you taking. That is 12%. And again, guys, 12%, these are very, very high risk. So, ibig sabihin na kapag mali ka at the trend goes against you, the price went falls back to this level. 
you are losing more than 10% of your portfolio of your position which is very very high so again what i suggest is always to convert to a lower time frame look for 4 hours muna kung makita ka dyan, uh, this is our breakout candle this is the low of the previous candle how much risk are you taking so this is our entry position i drag it down to the lows of the previous candle that is 7.6 percent mataas pa rin so what will i do convert the chart to the one hour uh, okay find again the previous candle so this is the previous candle i will move my stop loss below that previous candle now i will measure how much risk am i taking now that is only 4.6 percent and like what i said in a stealth phase uh, type of stop five percent is the maximum and we have only how much risk uh, 4.5 percent so this is fine this risk is okay so i can take this risk can you sleep in the good way at night or if it is still high for you then one way to do it is uh, you know that you will only be buying somewhere here but you want to reduce that risk so what i can suggest is to wait for a pull back na pag pull back talaga siya on that region yung wag na wag nating gagawin guys is that yung hahabulin natin yung price na nag spike up then only to find out in the next days ay babalik pa pala sa di, uh, sa nakaplano na nating buy zone yan ang masaklap so remember guys that uh, guys girls out there mga kabayan natin nakikinig remember that uh, uh, okay in every most of the time it's not happening every time but in every breakout uh, mayroon yung pullback and usually yung pullback na yan is on the it's either on the previous breakout or on to the previous uh, pivot point it's either here it's either here so however since uh, yung entry point natin is dito then our cut loss is here so whatever happens we we we, we stay out of this stop if our cut loss is here right so paano yung stop loss na nandito yung stop loss na nandiyan maganda yan kapag gusto mong mag-accumulate before the breakout which is here which is actually good also so hindi ka magpo-position eh, you are positioning before any breakout happens and that is here kasi at this point the advantage of entering the market on that point is uh, really that lower risk a very attractive risk reward so ito 4% lang especially kung nabili mo siya sa middle middle ng buy zone marireduce pa yan ng mga 2% na lang diba? So, ayan. So, that is one way to trade if you are looking for this plug pattern. I mean, not plug pattern, but a wedge pattern. It can also be in a form of flag pattern. So, Anthony, I will be sending to you a different patterns, but uh, usually yung mga trade ko is uh, flag pattern, wedge pattern, uh, so bull flag pattern, or pennant, or um, ano pa? Uh, descending uh, uh, channel descending channel right so yun mga usually tinitrade ko pag wala dyan hindi ko yun tinitrade naghahanap ako ng ibang stock alright so I hope uh, this helps you a lot then let's find another uh, ano, uh, another uh, another stock na nandito sa ano so ngayon naman ay maghahanap ako ng stock na magandang na mayroon siyang tinatawag na na it's, it's still in the stealth phase so ayun actually mayroon ako dito although hindi pa ako convincible yun niya I have here CPG Century Pas Properties Group so this is one although uh, let's check So this is in stealth phase. As you can see, 20 million pa lang yung uh, pinakamataas dito. I want that uh, somehow the volume is uh, about 40 million na yung net value. 
Kasi ibig sabihin, marami na talaga mga institutions yung nagkakaroon ng buying dito. But anyway, while the volume is still not enough, let's plan this out. Ano yung gagawin ko? Alright, so let me plot that. So first, very first, very basic na gagawin is really to plot support and resistance. Right, support. Uh, resistance, I colorize it with red. Another uh, resistance uh, here. Another resistance here. Also, let Let's uh, try to plot some uh, diagonal resistance. Also, don't forget to look at the one week chart para makita mo naman yung ano, big picture. So, as you can see, matagal na downtrend to, di ba? So, napakatagal na downtrend that the uh, highest uh, price was around 4.5 last uh, 2011. Or uh, 2.5... Ito yung spike up lang ng, ano, ng uh, week. Pero nag-close siya at 2.5. So, let me try to draw a channel. I mean, a diagonal resistance. So, na-break niya niya. Diagonal resistance. This is the end of the downturn. But, uh, somehow, the price is still consolidating on this range. So, ang mangyayari na dito is up. Support, uh, respect the Resistance, bounce off, balik sa support. Now, ngayon, nasa support na tayo. That is really a very, very good uh, position out there. So, may naalala ko dito si IDC, what, which was really the same setup. So, ayun, mayroon din itong uh, news na nakuha ko, nakalap ko from my broker about this uh, Century Properties Group. So, magandang catalyst and I really feel that this is the next bugger stock. Maybe not next month or maybe not this week. Maybe not next month. Who, who knows? What is important for me is I want to see volume spiking up in this, uh, in this uh, chart. Okay, let me load up again my, ano, my chart. Kasi minsan uh, wawala yung ano niya wawala yung candles load okay i have here uh, position trading uh, ano ko template let me colorize this with black ema10 ema50 ma100 and here is our ma200 let's colorize it with a much darker color so, nasan na yung ano na yun? 200. Hindi ko makita. Okay. So, so basically, uh, yung ano natin, 200 is still above the, the, the candle. So, basically, downtrend pa rin to. Kaya nga, I still need to wait. So, it's not yet to buy. So, I know already that point. But what I want to see also is that this MA100 indicated by the circular uh, moving average should dive in under the faster moving average. Firstly, dapat mangyari is uh, EMA50 is diving in the EMA10. Valid na. But one thing which did not happen yet is for uh, MA100 to dive in under this uh, EMA 10 and EMA 50. That's why it's still not a buy for me. So in the meantime, we are just plotting out our support and resistance para maninagin natin ano yung mga areas of value. Okay, so we have here, I'm looking at here the recent prices and look at the left side kung mayroong common points. So maybe here, maybe here. So yeah, let's colorize it with red. And uh, here, another red. So red is for resistance, blue is for support. Okay then, let's zoom in naman sa chart. May makita pa tayo ditong resistances. 
like this is a resistance this point which is respecting also here or maybe here so this is a uh, resistance as you can see if I scroll it down here so this is not a perfect science case I uh, say others can consider this as a resistance but I want to lower it down to the lowest point here so ayan say it is matching to a breakout of this MA100 na magkakaroon ng confluence ano ba yung confluence na yan so kapag nag breakout yung price uh, above this resistance over here it means that I have also the price also broken the MA100 so again we found the uh, the outs if it will break here uh, above the MA100 we will now have the alignment of the star setup I mean the alignment of the star is yeah, yeah. the MA100 is now uh, I mean the EMA10 is up, uh, above EMA50 EMA50 is above the EMA MA100 and when this uh, MA100 dives in ito yung tinatawag ni si Frex na sustrike so parang kidlat na tumama ngayon, ngayon kung may kidlat there is an energy so pag there is an energy it's time to buy so alright, so this is our buying point when we are breaking out from here so since this will be our buying point we are expecting our cut loss to be somewhere here below that so, ibig sabihin, if the price won't uh, sustain to rally, might be that it's not enough uh, powerful to make uh, higher highs. Kaya, exit muna tayo sa cut loss point, which I call rise now with black. This will be our uh, buy at breakout. right and this is our cut loss so how much risk are we taking if i draw on the middle of this zone to here oh napakaliit ng cut loss na yan so 0.5.6 percent lang so why don't we just uh, lower it more para naman mabigyan natin ng ano, room to breathe okay so we can still move down kasi meron tayong support dito Yeah, so support for uh, blue color. How much risk now? So our risk is uh, so ito yung stop loss ko yung black below the support. 2.36%. That is the beauty of uh, entering into a uh, looking for a stealth phase na stop kasi yung risk natin is really minimal. So, pag mag-break out naman dito yung price, the trend goes again, so hindi nagpatuloy yung pag -rally. we will exit. Kasi, if we don't exit, what will happen? The price will move down back to 8.64, which is already far, far away from our entry point. Our uh, risk will become 5%. Although that risk is still manageable, but if you are you have the chance to have a lower risk, then much better to take that lower risk. And uh, kapag dito naman nag-bounce, that is another position, uh, mag-reposition na lang tayo, di ba? Alright, so anyway, so let's uh, say na dito yung buy at breakout tayo kapag nag-breakout dito yung price at Take note dahil yung volume, kailangan talaga mataas. So, tingnan natin yung OBB. OBB, wala masyadong special thing na nangyayari. Dapat mag-spike up yung volume. Ngayon, uh, what is the level of volume? That is only... How much? Okay. I don't know if it is accurate, but uh, let's uh, check the net, the net value. So, the volume currently is only 5.1 million. Ah, so, na pala, sorry. So, we are looking at the wrong chart. Kasi picor pala yun. So, dapat natin tingnan yung uh, 
Pardon, CPG pala. You are analyzing the wrong chart. So, kaya pala yung volume ay hindi, ano, tama. Okay, let's again uh, plot that support and resistance. So, buti na lang at medyo similar yung chart ni ano, CPG at ni Picor. Alright, support. Resistance over here. So, this is a resistance here. Um, but, I want to match it with this pivot point. But I can still draw a resistance at the highs of this. So, the resistance is red. It will be red. This is another resistance here. So, yan na muna yung resistance. Kasi ayaw kong uh, shadow ano, uh, congested yung chart ko. So, we have here a net value of 19.6 somewhere uh, 3 days ago at September 11. But hindi yan nag-follow through. Uh, nagkaroon pa rin ng profit taking pero maganda dito kasi yung profit taking volume is not uh, as high as 20 million so it's possible that uh, bounce can happen here or either here at 0.4 or 0.44 so we will see what will happen in the next trading days ang maganda dito kapag magkaroon na ng higher high higher low kasi that is an indication that the star stock is in uptrend already So, meaning that uh, it will do this move. So, bounce. And then this. And this and this. And break out. So, ito yung higher low. Higher high. Higher low. Higher high. So, kahit ito, na, ito pa lang. Pag ma-form na to. And this one. A, B, C. I mean, A, B, C move. This one, this one, this one. That is already a good setup na the stock is already uptrending. So, nag-respect siya sa isang diagonal support. Right? Kapag in a break pa rin to, ibig sabihin yan na it's not it ready for, for an uptrend move. Instead, it is going to do a sideways move. So, mag-ranging lang yung price down to 0.42 with highs of 0.47 back again until such time this uh, area will be broken out so let's say this 0.47 or 0.48 will broken out so kita mo naman uh, what is the range and ba talaga yung uh, structure ito yung structure na yan so we, we were in a big downtrend now the price is uh, ranging or consolidating once it breaks out somewhere here That is a good sign up. Uh, 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 the stock wants to go higher. But in order for us to enter at a stealth phase, we don't want to wait until this consolidation will uh, break. Instead, what I, I told you already, na we are waiting for MA100 to... Okay, delete it muna daw para hindi makalat. MA100 to dive in uh, under the EMA 10 and EMA 50. So, ito yung EMA 100. And as you can see, wala pa. Hindi pa nag-dive. Tsaka, we need more volume. Ito kasi yung net value is only 20 million. So, we need more volume. Right. Kasi, pag walang masyadong volume, it's, it can happen na uh, we can position here. Of course, you can position with 20 million net value but see to it that uh, if this won't broken be broken ito yung pinaka resistance ng structure na pinakita ko kanina if this won't be broken then uh, it means that the price will still bounce so in that case you will take profit here at uh, magkano ba yung upsides natin dyan is 7% di naman masama 5% of is already a good one But uh, see to it that if you don't have volume yet, we have only 20 million. We need around minimum 40 million. So be ready to take profits. So magiging swing trade ito in that case. Until such time na makahanap ka naman ng setup which will qualify to a stealth phase 
mas mataas yung volume niya kaysa sa dati at uh, going up, pricing up price is also breaking out from consolidation then enter so makahanap ka ng ganitong setup then enter then uh, then uh, be ready to take profits for the step phase uh, be ready to take profits at this level or this size Then, uh, ayun. So, uh, let me post this one first for some technical break. Alright guys, so yung mga takapakinig ko dyan, I, uh, I'm very happy na may mga nakikinig dito. Uh, this is your stock mentor, Neil, at... Uh, I am doing actually, mga curious dyan, I am doing actually a live mentoring. I am recording my session right now. At uh, itinorn on ko din at the same time yung uh, cellphone ko para naman makapakinig yung mga kababayan natin na interested din makinig sa aking mentorship. Para na rin itong ano, pasample na ano, mentorship. <laughs> Although wala kayo, wala kayo makikita ng ano dito, video, ng uh, na papakinggan nyo lang yung ano ko, boses ko but I hope that uh, the information that you are uh, able to listen now can be helpful to you but uh, if you would like to avail the video recording then uh, please uh, write me a message right so ayun that's it for for today and uh, let me know okay guys uh, and uh, abangan nyo lang ako sa next live session ko it's either um, uh, so yung ito uh, this one is an audio broadcast lang so I might uh, come in tomorrow for a FB live wherein you can see some charting session right guys get best in yung lahat stock mentor Neil signing out